Hey there, Hot Zone. I'm Kadeen Ellis back at it again. I know it's been a minute, but there's no better way to get back in the groove than with one of my favorite former basketball wives. The last time she was with me, we got to talk more about her youth H2O campaign and her fitness lifestyle. That's right, Evelyn Lozada is here today to tell us about her new reality show called Living Lozada, scheduled to air on the OWN Network. She's going to tell us a little bit more about why she decided to do this reality show, what it's like to be a mom again after over 20 20 years and how Ianla helped her fix her life. So this is like a, a deja vu moment again for me because you were here with me in the hot zone. This was maybe what, a couple, maybe a year ago? I think you might have been pregnant with Leo at the time and I didn't know. I was I was four months pregnant. Were you? I oh, was. you did the math. Okay, so that's what I figured. Yes. I remember the flowy top. Yes. Um, but last time Evelyn Lozada was with us in the hot zone, you were talking to us about our youth H2O campaign that you have going on. Yes. So since then, tell me how things have been with youth H2O. It's been going great. I feel like this is, I always say I don't endorse a lot of products and people think like, you're getting paid to say that. I truly believe in this. It is an amazing product. It has been great for my skin. It has been great for my hair. I mean, just even after I had Leo, just trying to get energy. It's just, and it's an all natural product. It's like... Hello, people. Hello. Just Google what's inside you of it. You pulled your daughter on, and you're not going to give your kids something that's not good for them. Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> so, and she loves it. I mean, she drinks it a little bit more than I do. Wow. Like, she's very like. I mean, we so even her boyfriend drinks it now. Tell me about this new reality show and how it came to be. I know I want to do reality TV again, but I want to be able to do something positive. And I had other offers to do other shows, and it just. It just didn't fit with what my life is now. Mm -hmm. And um, then I got a phone call from OWN and they wanted to give me a show. Oh and I God. was when like, Oprah uh, calls, it's like Oprah hello. hello, you know? It, and then when I went to the meeting and we pitched and we talked, right. I mean, it was so amazing and it just felt so good. Right. And I'm like, the stars aligned for you. So aligned. And it feel, you know when it is, right. you know, even right. like with my relationship, you just feel things just flow. And that's why I'm excited for this new opportunity and a new chance. And, right. um, I feel like God makes no mistakes and I was supposed to do that Iyanla interview and I feel like that's why I'm here today, right. you know, where Absolutely. It, everything everything worked out. So how hard was <clears> it <throat> to sit down with Iyanla and really dig into that uncharted territory of things you never spoke yeah. about that were deep inside? How difficult was that for you? Iyanla is very in your face. She digs deep right. and but if she wasn't she wouldn't be doing her job. Right. And that is her calling and that's what she's supposed to do i feel like that's why god has her here and she did that with me and although i was very uncomfortable plenty of times and right. even when she came to visit me i'm like oh hell. <laughs> but you know she she keeps it 100 and i love her for that because everybody can't take being told about themselves and 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 i even with some of the people that she's had on her show i'm like oh they wasn't ready they weren't ready. Right. And I was ready. I want the change. And I just didn't know where to start. And right. she helped me with and that. And that was a great time. Look at you now. Living in Lozada. I mean, look at oh me now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Own Network on yeah. Saturdays, 9 p.m. Thank you so much for joining me. Tell me a little bit more about what it's been like for you since your mom has kind of taken you on this whirlwind of reality TV. It's been like a roller coaster. So I've always said in the past I would never do reality TV, but the, I was basing my opinion on the things that I was seeing, but um, I mean, when it's own, you, you, I think you should do it. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm on board with that one. So um, it's a family show. Okay. It's uh, really real and organic and it's genuine. Mm -hmm. So it's been a roller coaster, but a good roller coaster. So tell me what was your favorite part about filming with your mom and your entire family? I think a lot of feelings came out maybe um, that were in out before or a lot of things that were said because sometimes it kind of it op opens you up a bit. I definitely have been opened up you know since filming right. and I think a lot of feelings have gotten opened up even right. with my relationship right. or the relationship with my mom you know or her talking about her last relationship you right. know like right. that stuff got opened up a little bit more mm -hmm. that we haven't opened up in the past. So tell me a little bit about your guy. It's funny that's why it was so important you know, I'm, I'm nervous mm -hmm. that my relationship is out there, but I'm like, you know, I've been with this person for three years. Right, and people, you know, I don't think many people knew that. He's my best friend. No, right. I don't post it on Twitter, Instagram, right. nothing. I'm, right. um, I don't like stuff like that, mm -hmm. although he is on this show. Right. But um, it's funny because no one knows. 
right. you know, how long I've been with someone. I haven't been single. Right, right. So that was important. Yeah. That's important. Sorry, guys. She's not yeah. single. I'm not single, <laughs> but I'm not married. <laughs> and the last time I met your mom, we were talking about the Youth H2O campaign because she's yes. a spokesperson for the campaign, yes. and now she's kind of pulled you on board. And I know that you guys don't really promote things you don't believe in. Mm -hmm. So tell me about Youth H2O and how that's changed your life. Um, it's changed my life tremendously. So first, my mom was signed to them. Mm -hmm. And then I really got into working out, and they seen me um, about a year ago. It's okay. almost a year. And they were like, well, I think we can sign her. And then so we did the Mother Daughter campaign, right. which is what we're doing. And it's been great. It's good for energy. Um, and now they have a new product called Blossoming Apple. Oh, okay. So they've added hair, hair and nails. Right. So now it's like all around it's not just one it's like all around right. and even my boyfriend actually drinks it too wow yeah. so a lot of i mean yeah. because i know they say it yeah. helps with aging they say too. it's a natural viagra right. oh. but he's Whoa, drinking it before fancy. the gym <laughs> he's drinking it before the gym now, are you sure it's just yes. before the gym yes. oh, okay. two times a day <laughs> well, well i'm sure um, you'll benefit what, in other ways yeah it's a natural viagra so i was like oh that's cool for men but energy you know nice. what i mean some energy going if you need so a kick really in the butt good. to get to the gym exactly that's what you drink before yes and i definitely need a kick in the but I know, know me too a couple oh my times goodness. a week absolutely yeah. so there you have it folks I've got my youth H2O in hand and I will be tuning in to the own network on Saturdays 9 p.m. to watch Living Lozada we'd like to thank Evelyn Lozada and her daughter Shanice for joining us in the hot zone I'm Kadeen Ellis reporting for THZ hey I'm Shanice hi I'm Evelyn Lozada and, and I'm, I'm in the hot zone, zone.